Eye Examination Part 2. In this second film on eye examination, we're going to explore several more techniques that are important for the ENP for proficient examination of the eye. Installation of eye drops, advising the patient on their own administration of drops, use of fluorazine, foreign body removal and the application of a Morgan's lens for irrigation. Installation of eye drops. To begin, I'm going to ask Ed to tilt his head and look up to the ceiling. You want to firmly lift the superior lid and instill a drop on the lateral aspect of the globe. Then firmly press just nasal to the medial canvas to prevent any drainage down the nose. Do this for approximately 20 seconds. For advising the patient on administering their own eye drops or ointment once they're discharged, get them to tilt their head again and look up to the ceiling. Advise them to rest the bottle at the top of the bridge of their nose so that they can clearly see the spout over their eye. Pull down on the lower lid, squeeze the bottle to instill one drop to the lateral aspect of the eye and again press just nasal to the medial canthus, preventing any drainage down the nose. Foreign body removal can be done in one of four different ways. But before embarking on this technique, I would say it would be essential to instil some local anaesthetic so that the patient is comfortable for the examination. The first example of foreign body removal would be if there is debris in the conjunctival area. The best form of removal in this case would be using irrigation and I would irrigate with saline in this case. The other area you can get a foreign body is on the subtarsal plate and if you remember I demonstrated a version of the upper lid in the first film. Using a cotton bud you simply wash over the subtarsal plate to remove any foreign body there. Removing a foreign body from the cornea using a cotton bud. Bring the bud in in the temporal direction to the patient in a horizontal direction just so. Bring it over to the foreign body and take it off with the bud in a swiping motion. You can also use a needle to perform this technique. Holding the needle in the exact same direction as the cotton bud but with the bevelled open section of the needle facing out and away from the patient. Bring it in in the same horizontal direction towards your foreign body and with a, a gentle swipe lift the foreign body off the face of the cornea. Here is an image of foreign body removal using this technique. Use of fluorazine is essential for identifying a corneal abrasion. It is administered as an eye drop. This first picture is of an eye treated with fluorazine but seen with the naked eye. Looking at the eye this way, an abrasion is very difficult to see. The margins are very subtle and it remains transparent. That is, the iris continues to be clearly seen underneath. When viewed through a blue light shone directly onto the eye, the abrasion is now clearly defined by the uptake of the fluorazine. It is emitting this bright green colour which lacks transparency. If confused between a diagnosis of abrasion versus ulcer, here lies the clear difference between the two. While abrasion is transparent when viewed with the naked eye, ulcer is opaque on either viewing. For irrigation of the eye, a useful aid is the Morgan's lens, as you can see here. I'm going to demonstrate how to apply this Morgan lens to the patient's eye. 
First of all, start by instilling some local anaesthetic into the patient's eye. If you could tilt your head back head and look up to the ceiling, I'm just going to instill some a drop to the lateral aspect of your eye and press down, just nasal to the medial canvas, just for a few seconds till that takes effect. While that's taking effect, <coughs> I'll show you how to set up the Morgan's lens to the priming line and the IV fluids. Morgan's lens comes out of the packet, like so. This is a bag of IV saline that I've already primed. Attach the Morgan's lens to the giving set. Just get rid of my rubbish. And prime that final part <coughs> of the lens until you see a wee bubble come up on the inner aspect of the lens. Ask the patient to look down while firmly lifting their upper lid. Insert the lens under the upper lid, then retract the lower lid down and insert the lens in place. The patient will naturally close their eyes around the Morgan's lens and now it's ready for irrigation. To check the pH of an eye when there's suspicion of a chemical injury, Take a piece of litmus paper, fold over the end, like so, retract the patient's lower lid, tuck the paper into the conjunctiva and hold it there just for a few moments and then remove. Using the guide on the coloured wheel, you can establish the pH of the patient's eye.